Hey guys, so today's gonna be a chit chat while I do my makeup because this girl doesn't like to talk while she does her makeup, so it's gonna be a voiceover. Did you guys catch the nerd reference at the beginning of the video? I left it there for the really observant people. Anyway, with that being said, the first part of this video, I want to talk to you guys about my upcoming projects. So I have decided to do this documentary, fingers crossed, it's going to be a collaboration with some other YouTubers and probably some people who don't have active YouTube channels. And it's going to be a big project with a lot of work on my end, but I'm totally excited about it. and. It kind of falls in line with my Confessions of a Wheelchair User series videos, so if you guys really like those, I'm hoping you'll really like this documentary. Now, with that being said, let's talk about my videos. So, I posted a Sims speed build, and I like them, but they take a lot of work. They're interesting videos. I mean, I watch Sim videos in the background all the time. And I recently started my college advice series after being asked and asked to do that. And that was the first video of 10. I will link it down below if you hadn't seen it. Anyway, I'm excited about that series. I'm excited about all of it. And I. As I stated in that video, I don't know when other parts of that series is going up, but it's going to be good and there will only be 10 videos because I have pre-planned the whole series out. Yep. There I go again. Other than that, I kind of just roll with the punches and I decided I would film a get ready with me style video because I hadn't done one of these really since... I did how I do my makeup, which has kind of changed <laughs> a little bit, not very much. I am looking at looking at changing it up a little more. We shall see as time goes on. So, what do you guys think of my hair? I'm still on the fence about it. I love the color always have but the length is something to be interesting it's layered quite a bit which is what I wanted but it doesn't all go up yeah and I feel like it looks really good with product in it and yes it does have product in it in this video but Sam being Sam doesn't always put product in her hair I also don't always do my makeup. Well, also comment down below and let me know what you guys prefer for yourselves. And how you guys have been. Things have kind of settled back into normalcy since I've been back. From my little, what I like to call a more of a business trip. And if you can't tell, my room is reorganized a little bit. So this will probably be the new background for a while because, I don't know, eh. <laughs> I just like it and I also like the fact that I don't have to make my bed every time I want to film because I don't always make my bed. Mm. Yeah, little known fact about me. But this being a makeup video, I wanted to talk to you about makeup a little bit. Anyway, I am looking for a new face products. I kind of really want to try out a new foundation. My issue is I have really sensitive red skin that is awful dry. So I really like the foundation that I'm using. And I'm hoping to find something just as comparable or better. So if you guys have any suggestions, comment down below and let me know. But let's talk about the eyeshadow I'm using. I usually use a lot of high-end products. If you pay attention to my channel, that's just who I am. Makeup's kind of like a hobby of mine. Anyway, this is a Wet n Wild 
eyeshadow and I really am impressed. Wet n Wild does have a really good reputation for having really good eyeshadow. The one thing I can say is probably should do your eyeshadow look before you put on your foundation with these because they are major fallout prone. They're very soft and so with that there's going to be a lot of fallout. The color fallout is easily wiped away with a brush but the glitter fallout, yeah that's another story. I also find this palette in particular, I believe it's a Petal Pusher palette, to need something. There's not a like a medium warm brown transition color, so I use this palette for the eye look. I actually only use two colors in this, and I feel like I'm going to have to break out like my MAC palette to use it with it because it just doesn't have all the colors. I really wanted like just purple in the crease for this look and it up and it ended up being like really purple so I'll have to play around with it a little more and let you guys know how I feel but the eyeshadow itself is really good quality and I do recommend them I on the other hand always do my foundation first so I may just play around with the eyeshadow without a full face of makeup or I may do this again and see what happens but who knows. What are your guys' favorite eyeliners? Mine are Urban Decay mostly although I did go into Sephora about a month ago or a month or two ago when I picked up the chocolate bar palette. Which, by the way, is utterly amazing, and I still use it, and I still love it, and yeah, that's another story. I use like four colors at the same at one time when I use that palette. It, it's it's amazing. Um, which is saying something for me because it's just a brown palette. But this is the Nars Black Eyeliner. It was a deluxe sample. I actually did not purchase this. I ended up swatching the Marc Jacobs Black Coal Eyeliner Pencil Crayon thing when I was in Sephora last time and I think I fell in love. Like, I swatched all of them and the only one I like is the black one. <laughs> Which is good because they're like $5 more than my Urban Decay ones. Oh. I'm not sure if I'm going to use up all of my black eyeliner and then get it or if I'm going to get it before then because I have my Urban Decay black eyeliner and then this one sample that I have to use up. This is going to be interesting. Say I'm putting on mascara. I can say I really like the formula of this mascara, but I wish the one I had was waterproof. Girl loves some waterproof mascara. It doesn't smudge near as easy, I feel. Although I actually do have a different mascara from a different brand to try in my drawer after this one and I don't think it's waterproof so and it's not high-end I almost never buy high-end mascaras if I buy another high-end mascara I will probably get the benefit roller girl mascara because I really love the benefit their real mascara so I'm kind of curious to see how that one is but I'm also more than happy with just my drugstore mascaras. It's kind of like my favorite thing from the drugstore. Well, and that and lip products, because as you can see in this video, I put on some Carmex, which is like chapstick. Most of the time, 
that's all I put on. Although sometimes when I film I do put on lip color. I do have a few lip colors. And not a lot compared to a lot of people. I don't know. I just... I don't know why I don't like them. Probably because they transfer onto everything and then I'm like, oh, I have lipstick everywhere. See, my hair looks really good here. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later in my next video. Bye!